Yo, we good? Good. Looks like the bit rate stabilized. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part two of my The Wolf Among Us stream. Told you guys to be back. Same day, continue the stream of my playthrough. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, uh, best looking game made, in my opinion, obviously, by Telltale Games. You know, by far, you know, best looking one. Overall, I think it's between The Last of Us, I mean, uh, The Walking Dead Season 1, and The Wolf uh, Among Us. You know, so, you know, they, both of them, top two favorite you know so yeah really looking forward to this one so let's you know get to it hey and by the way um, I noticed that my mic sound was, was quite a bit low so I hope it's, it's better this time around so all right let's get to it <laughs> What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Man, this guy's such Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Man, I'm fucking wrong. Don't bother. Forget it. You can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better yeah, to tell him. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... No, you're kidding me. Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Scratch. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him? Maybe. No. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? 
Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, yeah. get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crimson. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Thank you. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking. Bomb. Show me Buffkin. Hey. hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking. 
Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Just testing her ability, that's all. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me the woodsman. One more time. Show me the woodsman. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elfish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books.
This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Hmm. Me. And him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Colin and his brothers. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Yeah, that's her all right. Long time ago.
Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Big Mir. It's simply the way this has to be. Let's see. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, it's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Poe. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Oi, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. I'm sorry! 
That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I'm gonna try and redo that one. Right, I'm gonna try and redo that. I'm curious. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. A lot of these options. Enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Should probably get that fixed. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? All right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. Be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown ups. Am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. 
I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. <laughs> you bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless baubles. Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You were the, the new... Uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? It was odd enough to scale the bloody wall. I have to have you acting like it's a crime. happened 
here. The polka? Well, oh, wait. There's more blood on the tip. This happened before or after you came in the window. After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left a tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me housekeeping's not up to your standards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things have been, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not! And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad, you can help the process along, you know. How? How am I going to help the process along? Tell me what happened, right now. I keep telling you, this is just a misunderstanding, a, a series of accidental mishaps. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? Please. Just take it easy. I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Yeah, I'll be right back, I'll be right back.